And this goes the other way. Look at Proverbs 31, verse 28. This is talking about this, this diamond. It says, her children arise up and they call her blessed. Teach your kids to tell your mother, the, 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 your wife, how much they appreciate her. And the best way to do that is to be an example. Her husband also, and he what? Praises her. If you go to the Song of Solomon, you'll see, you'll see her saying, you know, honey, honey, you're one in a million. And you'll see him saying, you know, uh, uh, there's no spot in you. And he's, he's praising her. And you know what? Women need the same thing. Amen. It's really something. There are so many ways that men and women are different. This is one way where there really aren't. If you were to go to the park and you were just to sit there and watch kids playing, you see the little boy hanging upside down from the jungle gym saying, Mama, look! Mama, look! What's he need? Mama to say, oh, Jimmy, you're so strong. That's incredible, Jimmy. Wow. And then you'll, you'll see his sister over there sitting down with, doll, with a doll, and she's got, she did something with the doll's hair. Mama, look! Mama, look what she's saying. Oh, baby, you made that doll look so pretty. Oh, I love the way you did her, did her hair. Men need it, but so do women. And, and once again, a lot of times, and this is even more so with women, because they're moved more by what they hear than what they see. The way that women sometimes end up in a situation where they're vulnerable and some, because of a lack of integrity, fall into sin. Is because when they go home, they're treated as a maid. When they go home, they, they, they're not, they're, they, their husband doesn't tell them they appreciate anything. He's not encouraging them. He's not, you know, uh, interested in what they, their desires are. So they feel used. Then they go to work. They go to the gym. They go to some other place. And these brothers checking them out. And then the smart ones start, start talking to them. <laughs> and if they're smart enough, they ain't going to try to say everything the first time. First time, how you doing? Good to see you. Next time, oh, I like that. What, 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 what you doing over there? Ne the next time, I like that dress. That looks good. The next time, your hair looks good. Before you know it, you know, you, I hope your husband knows what he has. Your skin looks nice. Oh, and, and, and before you know it, she's, same problem. She go home and he, let me wear my food. And he, he, she, she, go to, she go to work and, and she hearing about how, how, you know, all this other stuff. And she feels valued and appreciated. And before you know it, She's blowing up her life because he's not encouraging her. You got to do the same thing, brothers. She needs to hear I love you all the time, but she doesn't just need to hear I love you. She needs to hear words of encouragement, and especially when things are down. When she's down, you don't get to go run for cover. Come on, because sometimes we don't like to feel. We don't men don't like to feel. Come on. That's so why we don't like, most of us don't like romance movies. You know, we can handle some of them if they're funny. But, but when you talk about, I'm going way back, Steel Magnolias and some of you know, the ones that they are designed to make you cry, those are the ones who are like, baby, you need to go get one of your girlfriends and go to that. Because I, I don't go to the movies to cry. I got enough to cry about. So we don't like that. So when she's breaking down, you know, there's a, there's a temptation to just kind of hand you off to your mama. <laughs> Come on, am I telling the truth, brothers? Can, can. But you can't do that. And there's also this desire to give you the answer right away, and that don't work either. You can't do that either. Sometimes she don't want the answer. Now, I know that don't make no sense to us. We are logical. Here's the problem, here's the answer. We're done talking. She ain't there yet, bro. She ain't there yet. You're going to have to sit there and, 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 and wash the tears, and you're going to have to hear this thing again and again and again while she works it out. And maybe at the end, you can give her a suggestion, and she'll go, oh, thank you, baby. And you'll think I could have told you that an hour ago. Good. I'm kind of joking around. You get my point, though. No, you got to be there to encourage, to encourage. Our number one fan should be who we're married to. 